started, get started, okay? For those of you, um, most of you already know who I am. I'm Terry B. Jones, and I am a internet marketer online, but I have a full-time job at Florida Blue, where I've been at for December of 34 years in IT. And so oh, IT is me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if there's any kind of new technology coming out, I am on it. I am <laughs> on it. And so, and then I'm also a member of the Black, uh, Jacksonville Black Owned Business Facebook group where I'm one of the admins every Wednesday. I share marketing strategy for the businesses to know what's going on, how they can grow their brand and reach in revenue with technology. And so that group is almost, we're almost at 10,000 members in that group. Yeah, um, and every day more and more people, you know, are trying to come aboard. So I'm gonna go ahead on and get started with the presentation. Let me go ahead on and share my screen here. So I don't want to hold you guys up on today. All right, everybody uh, able to see my screen? Yes. 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 All right. Okay. So I am Terry B. Jones of We Voice It. And what I'll be sharing with you tonight is a simple copy and paste, no coding system that you can start today in what I call creating chit chat cash. And so that's pretty much what uh, this whole presentation, okay, hold up next. All right, so the new app that you'll be chit-chatting on is basically Alexa. And you will be able to get your content in front of million Alexa Echo device listeners. So if there's a business or a blogger, a content creator, then this is where they want to be, okay? Now, this is what I'm gonna be sharing with you on tonight, uh, what Amazon Alexa is, why would you want to get into voice, some statistics about voice, local businesses and how they can take advantage of voice, talk about a flash briefing, how to enable it, tips for creating one, and also the different devices that's available, and the different types of content that would fit being on a Echo device and how to get the word out about it. Okay, you would create one, but then it's like, okay, how do I let people know? And then if you decide you want to go forward with this concept, then I'll go into that. So now, here's some of the things that I actually teach. I do uh, viral content marketing. When I say viral, I'm talking about if uh, Facebook, you know, you put a post on there, there you know, and it can go viral. Uh, Alexa skills, basically you can create those, those can go viral. YouTube videos, email marketing, Google My Business, and pretty much these are the different concepts that I teach. And so if it's you or your, your kids, because I'm all about what the Bible said is for us to leave an inheritance to our children, children. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have two grandkids, nine and 12 years old, and I already started them at seven years old, you know, t doing YouTube videos. It's a lot of adults. They're afraid to get on video, but Chrissy, she can work a video. Milani, you know, they both basically, she more the techie side of it. And so I've been teaching the two of them pretty much what I know so that, because guess what? Money gives you options, okay? Mm -hmm. And money gives you access. And so that's what I want them to do. I want to, them to be able, you know, to take what I'm teaching them and to be able to, you know, earn some money from it when they get to that point of, you know, being a teenager and you're mm -hmm. looking for a job because that, as a teenager, for me, I had six streams of income, okay? Who, who knows one of the streams of income that you think that I had as a teenager? What do you think I had as a stream of income? Technology? Uh, no, not, not as a teenager. Technology didn't quite come out until I went to college 
at 18 and that was like way i'm talking like apple was not a thing i actually learned how to program on on there but when i was like 14 13 14 what type of work you think i did to earn income? you had a lemonade stand <laughs> well we well i'm from new orleans now so, oh okay so so we called them <laughs> Now they, they got different names, okay? And so some people call them frozen cups, and that's what we call them, frozen cups. Yeah, that's what we call them in New Orleans, frozen cups. So I sold those, I babysat. Who did not babysit as a teenager? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was babysitting, and this the, the thing that really got me into the job that I'm in right now, is the fact that I was, my handwriting was so ugly. In the eighth grade, my teacher told me I could not turn in my papers written. I had to have them typed. I kid you not. And so because of that, I learned how, yeah, I learned how to type. And because I was able to type in eighth grade, I was 13. And so I had to turn my papers in. And of course, you know, I got good at it. So at 14, when all of the kids was working a summer job at the camps and stuff, I was able to get my first office job at 14 years old because I could type. So that's how lemons were turning into lemonades for me. And not only did I get that job, but also my friends, they would pay me to type their term papers, different things you had to return in, you know, for school projects. And then when they all, because we all were of age where we could work, I basically was great in math. That was always my best subject, math. I love math. So I did everybody income taxes. So I got paid for that, you know. So like I said, there's so many different ways to make money. And our kids nowadays, oh, my God, they, there's so many ways that they can make money right now with these different concepts that I right here I'm showing you with Alexa skills, email marketing, YouTube marketing, Google My Business. It's a lot of business not, not even set up on Google so that you know you can see their location when they open. Ebook marketing, I'm an author of 15 books so I can teach them how to you know, do books. So anyway, that's just a little bit about me. I don't wanna keep carrying on about myself, you know, but I wanna educate you guys. So this is something that in this tool here, the tools for 2020, the first uh, actual presentation or webinar I did in the, in the Black-Owned Business uh, Facebook group for the first of the year, I told them, here are the three things that you're going to have to put in your arsenal, okay, which was video marketing, email marketing, and Google My Business. Who knew that the coronavirus was going to be here and we were all going to have to social distance? So video marketing is huge, right? Because now, you know, you have to get yourself on video or put your product or service on video. Uh, basically, uh, email marketing is communicate with your clients, your, your already existing clients, as well as reach out to new clients to build know, like, and trust because people don't necessarily buy from you the first time that they interact with you and they see your product or service. And then Google My Business, that's so that when people go do a search on their mobile um, device, their phone, most people are searching on their phones, okay? And because we're all social distancing, people looking to see, okay, what's open near me, what time they close, what have you. You can't go be bopping, you know, to the store that would normally close at 10 o'clock you know, when the social distancing started because they were closing at six o'clock or they just weren't open at all or shut down. And so those were the concepts that I actually bring to businesses and entrepreneurs and even those who decide, you know what, I want to make some extra income on the side and start an online business. And those are the top concepts right there that you can start with, okay? Now, what is Amazon Alexa? Alexa, all it is is Amazon's voice service, okay? And the brain behind the Echo family of devices such as the Echo speaker, the Echo show, the Echo dot, and basically it provides skills and flash briefings that enable customers to create a more personalized experience. 
it is definitely the next big thing, okay? Like I told you all in the beginning, if it's something techy going on, I am on the front end. I'm, I'm more proactive person and not a reactive person. So that's why I'm on here, letting you know what's going on. And uh, you all probably seen the commercials on TV, you know, about Alexa. People's like, Alexa, open my door. Alexa, you know, where can I do this and that? So, you know, it's, it's already out there. Okay. And Samuel Jackson, he got an Alexa skill out there where you can have him to cuss if that's, you know, what people into just sit, you know, but anyway, why voice assistance? Because we are actually in a voice activated world. Google Home is a voice concept. You got Amazon Alexa. You guys already been, if you have an iPad, of course, you'd have been talking to Siri. And then, of course, Microsoft has Cortana, all right? And then with my Xfinity, you know, they sent me a new mic where I can just tell the TV, hey, go to CBS or whatever. So that's mm -hmm. where we are. We're in a voice technology space, okay? And so let's talk about uh, search when it comes to voice, okay? So among those who already use voice search locally, that's a high frequency of use. Like I said, more people are using voice. Smartphones are the most used voice search tool, of course, because everybody carrying their phone, right? Then when looking at those age 18 to 34, they favor smartphones above any other type of voice assistant with 81%. But that's a large number using their smartphones at least once a month to look for businesses near them okay and this is followed by a tablet and then 63 percent with a laptop or desktop and then men are more likely than women to use local voice search and then 55 percent of u.s households are going to have alexa by 2022 okay now, here's some statistics. $10 billion worth of sales will be driven through Alexa by 2020 year end, okay? That's the end of this year, all right? 53% of those using smart speakers are the most likely to make local searches daily. Then as of July 2020, there are over 1 million podcasts and over 29 million episodes. 11,000, only 11,000 of that 1 million are flash briefings. And that's one of the things I'm going to be sharing with you tonight about how you can create a flash briefing. And if you know people that have podcasts, they don't have a clue how to get that podcast heard on these echo devices that's in the home of uh, lots of people. Okay. And then 46% of users look for local business information at least once a day. Okay. And then eight, uh, Juniper Research estimated that there will be 8 billion, okay, digital voice assistance in use by 2023, all right? And then this firm, TD uh, Ameritrade, okay, they said that their flash briefing on Amazon Alexa has opened up new ways for them to communicate with their advisors, okay, and their potential clients. So that's a, a top 500 a fortune company that is actually has their product on there, okay? Now, as far as businesses, entrepreneurs, bloggers, podcasters, content creators, basically, you know, people it's like, okay, why would I? Why would I have an Alexa device? Because basically you want your brand everywhere. Wherever your clients are, or potential clients, that's where you want to be, okay? And then, of course, you can sell your physical goods and services to customers that you would not normally be able to reach. And then, of course, you can use that the flash briefing, the podcast, your blog content, you know, to get that a larger reach, a more global reach. And then if there is an artist or musician or authors, they can actually take their content and make it into an interactive story. Uh, a musician can give you, let them listen to part of the music and then send them to where they can actually purchase it. And so that's just a few things there. So let's talk about what is a flash briefing, okay? All it is is text or audio content that gets published on the Amazon Alexa 
Echo device. There are short and informative pieces of pre-recorded content available either daily. Some people, it depends on what type of news it is, you may want your content out there every hour, okay? Well, weekly or monthly, but those are the different ways you can put content out there, okay? Now, to enable a flash briefing is real simple. Just like you will go to Amazon, you know, to purchase technology or whatever you buy, you know, from, uh, from Amazon. Well, when you go to Amazon and um, type in amazon.com and you go to browse, you can do just click on a drop down screen and it will say Alexa skills. That is one of the choices. And this is one of the Alexa skills that I develop on home safety tips. And so what I share on there is different uh, safety measures when it comes to, you know, being at home uh, with the elderly, the kids, you know, fires, any kind of safety type of thing, you know, uh, pools, you name it, you know, that's pretty much what I'm sharing on there. And so what the person can do, so say for instance, if that person does not have an Echo device, they can download the Amazon Alexa app. Okay, and then they would just go to the menu and select skills, and then they would choose, uh, do a search on that skill, and then they would just enable it to open it. Now, right here, you see where it says disable skill. That's because this skill has been enabled. But basically, now, if you decide, say, for instance, you go looking out there, because you can search for all kinds of stuff on there, and if you decide that you don't want to use that skill anymore, you can just disable it, okay? So it's not something that you have to keep, all right? And then, so as far as tips on creating a great flash briefing, basically, it will be your content. So say, for instance, if you have a blog, you know, because there are some people, I don't know how they have the time all day to post on Facebook. I do not have... I don't know. I don't know what, what kind of work they do or uh, whatever, but I'm telling you, it's people they all day, they just posting this and that and the other. I mean, you know, maybe they just that, you know, I don't know. But basically, if you have great content, <laughs> you know, you and you want to reach customers with that content, you can definitely do that by having a flash briefing okay and basically you want something that a person would listen to at the start of their day okay or when they get ready to go to bed or some type of routine because basically it is some information so say for instance like i put a post out there saying hey anybody interested in uh, having uh, 300 contributing uh, prayer for 300 to have 365 days of prayer. Okay, so that is an Alexa a flash briefing that could be created where every day somebody will listen to a prayer um, every morning before they wake up, or they can listen to it at night, at noon time, or what have you. And then different things that people do um, as a, for as a routine. You know, they can listen to the news, the weather, the sports, uh, some kind of comedy move, movie television reviews, whatever that thing is that people do on a regular routine basis, you can have that created as an Alexa skill, okay? Now let's talk about the different devices that's available, all right? So here's the Echo speaker. And basically I ended up getting into this whole concept because I, on my job, I actually won an Echo speaker uh, when we had an all employee meeting and they always giving out really cool techie gifts. And so I just so happened to win it, okay? So of course, you know, I wasn't familiar with what to do with it at the moment, but the grandkids came over and we all know what that means, right? They are gonna dissect it. They are gonna, oh, Alexa, what's the weather? Alexa, who, do you love me? Alexa, tell me what tomorrow's gonna, what's gonna happen tomorrow? So basically, you know, they just going at it, okay? And so then I was invited to a webinar by some other authors and it's like, hey, get on this webinar where you'll learn about how you can get your content on these Echo devices. I'm like, well, really? I got an Echo? Okay, let me go. And sure enough, that's how I found out how this whole concept works 
and um, ended up, you know, going through the training and all that kind of stuff and learning how to do this. And so I was able to get my content on that device that I had just won. And all it is um, for this device here, uh, it, it's either text or audio that is that you can listen to on here. Most people who have these, they just listen to music on it. But you, it's way, it's a whole nother world out there. And that's what I'm sharing with you all today. And so basically it could be short and informative pieces of pre-recorded content, okay? That's available daily, weekly, or monthly. Then there's the Amazon Echo Show. Now this is the 10.1 HD screen. You, and basically you can smart, have your home smart with this here. It's a smart home hub where you can turn your lights on, you can turn your coffee maker on, you can um, make sure that you're, when you leave home, that, that if anything happens, you can hear, some, if it hears sound, it'll let you know, hey, you know, some, some sound going on in your house or whatever. Uh, of course, you can see the lyrics of a song. So if you ask Alexa to play a song, it will show the words on there. So you can use that you know how you do karaoke you can use it for that okay you can stream uh if you're already streaming music with amazon music or spotify pandora you can also listen to all that if you have audio books you can listen to that on there and then uh, the best and coolest thing because you guys know i love to cook right so you can actually uh, see recipes and people cooking and step-by-step -step recipes where you can actually cook right along with them you can uh, actually create your shopping list so that when you, if you see a recipe on there and I end up getting caught up in that there when I'm sitting here looking at mine I see some recipe and I'll go ahead on and have it to create my shopping list for me and I can make that particular dish and um, pretty much your calendar you can access your your gmail from there to find out what's on your calendar for the day you can have photos on there so say if you have you know, uh, elderly person and you, you have this device at their house, you know, they can call you because you can look on here where it sees the little phone on here and you got the video where they can see you and they can talk to you, especially while social distancing, that would be great, you know, hands-free to be able to call your family members, especially without elderly, instead of, you know, looking at, at them out the window. And then there's the Echo Dot, okay? I won this device. Also, um, from Amazon, um, this is the a little look like a little puck, okay? It fits in small spaces, so you can have one of these throughout your house, okay? And so you can say, for instance, you know how everybody's just lazy now, and you cooking dinner, and instead of you going in the room to let them know the dinner ready, you could just <laughs> make an announcement. It's like dinner ready, <laughs> so everybody can come and eat. <laughs> <laughs> so everything you know everything has a yin and a yang all right <laughs> and then the amazon echo show five i also have that one i won that one from amazon as well and it has a button on the top for controlling the volume of course hands-free video calling and then um basically you can connect to your home uh, other devices of course make your announcements and of course you can have your photos on here as well create routines and it has a camera on there uh chrissy was the one that showed me the camera i told you these little kids they'll find out stuff she learned how to do a whole bunch of stuff on here before i did <laughs> like i'm like oh wow cool i didn't know i could do that and so that's another one and then here's the app okay if you don't have those devices you can just download the alexa app okay on your phone and then you, and once you decide to get a device, then what you would use is the actual phone to set your device up. So you can say, hey, this one is, if you say you got the dot, you know, and you got a couple of them, you know, or you got a, a plug, or you got the light bulbs that you wanna control, and you okay. control everything from the app on your phone, okay? okay. So that's what that one is used for. And, what types of content to create? Well, workout tips. There's a really good workout um, one out there. It's like a seven minute workout that you can get that in if you wanted to, like, especially if you're working from home and you don't want to just be sitting in a chair all day, you can get that little workout in. Of course, restaurants, daily specials. 
you know, if there is a restaurant that each day they have a special that can be on there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then pet care tips. You know, there are lots of people with animals. And actually, the top three uh, products that are sold online is pet, anything dealing with pets. That is one of the top three. Anything dealing with making money and um, and actually working on online online type work so those are the top three concepts and then you have cosmetics okay that covers everything lip gloss you know anti-aging wrinkles i mean you name it hot flashes i don't know how many of y'all in at that age where you have your little private summer like i do, I and, do. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah you can um have you know uh, a, a flash briefing talking about that that whole you know, getting old, older, <laughs> you know, baby boomers getting older concept. Of course, all kinds of things with fashion, furniture. You know, there's some people that are great at organizing, you know, offices and homes and stuff like that, event planners, daily deals, discounts, you name it. It Basically, you can actually develop an Alexa skill for it. Um, you know, for whatever your product or service or offer this service to a business. Now, as far as here's some of the concepts here, um, like if there's an author, you know, basically you know, it's their book. They can tell part of, say, I'll give a chapter or two about their book or what have you and just kind of get them interested in purchasing their book or buying their book or what have you. Coaches, they have different coaching tips. Comedians can go on there. Uh, um, basically, if there's a cost like a 501c3, you know, they're pushing, you know, child trafficking or whatever their thing is. Uh, digital marketers that want to share information about how to do stuff on social media, different experts. If you're expert in finances, money, whatever your expertise is, journalists, podcasters, uh, politicians that wants to push their agenda. Um, you know, preachers that want to have their weekly sermons and stuff on there. And of course, community. So if you're in a part of a homeowner's community and they have a newsletter that go out, they can have that information made into an Alexa skill so that the residents can listen to, you know, what's going on, what we're doing, you know, in the neighborhood. And of course, any kind of TV show. There's Jeopardy on there, there's Family Feud on there, all that kind of stuff is already on on there. Of course, the big boys, you know, they take advantage of new stuff uh, with the quickness. It's just the smaller businesses because, you know, they don't, a lot of time they don't know. Now, how do you get your word out about it? It's like, okay, all right, I got my flash brief and I got my skill out there. So it's no different than with you as a business owner and you had to have a website, okay? If you were to have gotten a YouTube channel, what do you have to do? You have to promote it, you know? And so basically with the Amazon Alexa app, there, there is a way for you to actually share your particular Alexa skill, just like you would if share a Facebook post or anything, you could text it to people or link to it. You can post it on Facebook, you can post it on LinkedIn, I mean, pretty much the same way you would promote any other uh, product or service that you have through email marketing. You could put it in there, say, hey, you know, I have, I created an Alexa skill, uh, you know, check it out today. And each week I'll be sharing something with you. Of course, Facebook posts, you can share it that way through a Facebook page, notes, Facebook Live. You can talk about it in that respect. Of course, on YouTube. And then, you know, I'm not going to promise you any results with anything, okay, because, you know, if you have something that people want, they're going to buy it. That's just the bottom line, you know. And so, but I'm just showing you what actually works, all right? Now, how would you get paid with an Alexa skill, okay? So, basically, Amazon, they want content on these devices, all right? They want to be the number one voice technology, okay? And so basically, if you create content on their device, then they reward you, okay? And mm -hmm. high usage of your Alexa skill is what they're looking for, all right? And they reward you with gadgets, money, 
I've gotten money and I've gotten gadgets. Like I say, I have, I have the speaker, which I got for my job, but then I got the Echo Show, both Echo Shows, the Echo Dot, and the, what else I have? But I have all of the devices, bottom line. And I have a really cool collector's item. I'll show you guys that after the presentation. But anyway, and then of course, um, drawing more traffic to your website, your social media uh, platform. So create a flash briefing, you could uh, definitely uh, say within there, it's like, hey, you know, go to my website, you know, to uh, take a look at whatever other stuff I'm offering or whatever. Or if on social media, if you have a Facebook group and you want people to, to come to your group you can let bring them you know add them let them know hey come and join my group where i share more intimate information you know with people in the group or you can educate a larger audience of course about your product or service because those who have this device and they're looking for what you have to offer and then provide useful resources for your members that you may already have and those who you're trying to get and in in skill purchasing, that's a whole nother piece of how you can earn money from there. And then there's the hackathons that are going on constantly where you can earn money from that. That's one of them I did earn money from that. And then um, Alexa skills can be offered to local businesses as a service, okay? Now, this is the really cool thing I was telling you guys about. Uh, I won, basically one of the month, they had in October 2018, they said if you were to develop five uh, uh, Alexa skills in a month, then they were going to give this figurine, okay? That says, I've got super skills. And so I actually will, you know, was one of the ones to get this. They don't have this anymore. And so it is definitely a collector's item, okay? And then also because of my knowledge of knowing how to develop Alexa skills, I've actually been paid to go and do workshops and teach. Um, went down with my grandkids down to Savannah and we taught a, a group of kidpreneurs because that group of kids, what they um, are taught by the lady that actually started that group, uh, she teach, teaches them how to, you know, start start a business, you know, by doing websites and all of the different pieces of the pie. And so she introduced them to that. And then also at the True Gamers Expo, I was able to present there on how to create games with Alexa skills. And then I also uh, at the Business Talking Library, um, I was, like I said, at the Kaiser University, I've been teaching there. And, but because of the coronavirus, we pretty much have not, um, I had actually had three uh, actual teaching engagements I was supposed to do this year. That didn't happen, okay? Because they weren't online and Kaiser University is one of the places that I was going to, and I was doing webinars there, but you know, that kind of came to an end with the coronavirus. Now. Here's a case study, okay? It's like, okay, yeah, you know, you say you, you know, you won some of the devices and whatever, but here is this guy here, all right? David Markley, he built the word of the day quiz skill in mm -hmm. one day. And within a month of launching the skill, he earned almost $1,500 in Alexa developer rewards which is the program that pays developers for building skills that has the highest customer engagement. Now, this is the dude that is responsible for Amazon actually coming up with the Alexa developer reward program. And as of 2018, this dude is collecting $10,000 a month because people are listening to his Alexa skill every day. Wow. Every day, they want to hear the word of the day. I kid you not, and um, quizzing them on that. And he was the, like I say, if it wasn't for him, they wouldn't even be paying money for it. But he was sending so many people, you know, to that skill. And then he, he reached out to the CEO and said, hey, you guys need to reward me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's like wow. people, you know, using your device because of me. And that's how this whole reward system came about. 
and for you know rewarding with engagement okay so if you guys um i'm not sure i did put a link i put a link in there to download um the actual checklist okay so just from hearing what i shared so far what do you guys think about flash briefings alexa skills what do you think about it it's pretty interesting okay yeah yeah it is it's new technology and it is definitely um it is interesting so what do you as far as in any ideas any ideas may have has any idea come across you guys um i'm gonna stop sharing for now and i'm gonna come back to it has any idea came into anybody's head at the moment it's like okay all right i hear you saying you could do this that and other you know anything kind of spark you or you know of a business like you know what that business uh content would be good on there that blogger content would be on there this person's podcast that i listen to would be good on this device any any thoughts yeah i have i have thoughts and and i have questions i i guess for me i would love for people to ask alexa how to buy an audiobook from NGB Productions. And then I want I want <laughs> I want to get paid and then I want them to be able to hear the audiobook. So right. I, I think that's where my disconnect is. Um I, I would love for authors to say, Alexa, let me hear some audio samples from NGB Productions so that they can determine um how they're gonna hire us to produce their audiobook. I would love for people to say, Alexa, what is Angie B Productions doing next? And then I can say, we're having a weekend retreat, go to this website. You know, that's what I would love for it to do, but I don't know how to go from what's in my head to what's actually coming out of Alexa. I think that's where I'm lost and I need help. Okay. Well, I can help you get it out your head. On to okay. Alexa. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I can help you do that. Uh, Quine, you have an idea you had in mind? Mm, I have a friend that have a business. Now, I don't know whether he want to use that with um, Alexa. That's the idea that popped into my head. But I definitely have to be more into it before I present that to him. Because he one right. of the ones who got the dot. Every um I I mean every T if I when I present this to him, I got to know everything. So I would really have to, you know, get with you to try to find out really how to do this thing for right. his Yeah, <clears throat> and that that's that's what I can do as far as like like you said, they'll know what his product or service is and then strategize how we will move forward with actually getting that content on there. Mm -hmm. I see uh, Carolyn Griffin, you have your hands raised. You have an idea. Yes, ma'am. Um, I, uh, from, from the, the business perspective of putting products or services, I would do that, like to do that eventually. But I think I mentioned it to you before, but my idea is um, for mental health moments. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's re really what I would like to um uh, develop um, mental health coping skills along with maybe a scripture or just uh, something, things that I've learned over the years to help other people deal with uh, mental health right now because those are some, we have some major issues going on right now. The stresses right. and everything. I, I'd like oh, yeah. to put something like that together uh, uh, soon. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that that mental health is huge. So yeah, that would definitely be great uh, to use as an Alexa skill. Um, somebody else, Tamisha, I think you had your hand raised. Yeah, I can see it working well for brand awareness for my business. Um, with it being a cleaning business, I can see doing something 
like some uh, cleaning tips and tricks type of something. Um, and, um, you know, just being able to have, you know, after the, the, the trip or, t um, after the tip or trick is presented, then having my name, you know, just having them hear my name several times is just going to help. You know what I mean? So I think it would, it would, for me, it would be great for brand awareness. Right. Yeah, that would be great too. And like I said, and when it comes to, you know, cleaning service, um, there are different questions that, you know, people would say, for instance, is, is it like maybe like a <clears throat> things that they need to know up front before even choosing a cleaning business or products they can use in in between you coming back you know so there's so many different things that you could definitely share from that perspective yeah who else has an idea of how that could be done any anybody got any ideas about like what's going on right now when it comes to black lives and um that you know that was one of the things that I saw um somebody had a black Christian network or something and because I did a search on on my actual app and so if you guys don't have an actual device you can just download the app and um on your phone okay and when you download the app on your phone let's see i'll go on here let's see here and so basically i don't know if you guys can see my phone see this blue button right here at the top you can mm -hmm. i can actually press that and i can uh, ask alexa to do something for me oh Alexa, set a reminder at 9 p.m. for me. What's the reminder for? Turn off the lights. Okay, I'll remind you at 9 p.m. You see what I'm saying? So you, you can do that um, right here from your phone. Right here, it has where you can listen to music. Um, based on like I, I have Amazon Music on here, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeart, you know, basically those things are already on here. Uh, you can create a list, a shopping list. It's it's like basically, and you can talk to it without actually holding the phone. I just want you guys to see um, that. But yeah, so you can create routines, and then you can set alarms like <clears throat> the kids and stuff for them to get up in the morning. Uh, you can find out what the weather is like for the day. Um, if somebody else has a device, you know, I can call them from here. I can uh, text them from here. Uh, just like I said, you can try stuff. It has a button on here that says try. And then it'll bring up different things that you can try. Like, you know, um, uh, exercise or meal or whatever. Create reminders to do stuff. Um, let's see what else they have. Of course, where you can listen to podcasts, you can do lists and notes and games. Now games is like so, um, that's like a, a lot of the, you know, kids and stuff, even young, older people, they're in the games and stuff too. But as far as what I developed, um, I did a trivia one. That's why I did Jacksonville, Florida, um, black um black owned businesses i did one a trivia with that and um basically is asking you about like um robert e lee um who are the different black people here in jacksonville but anyway i did an alexa skill on it that's kind of educating you about the different like sally b mathis and all of the main i mean i'm from new orleans so you know but that's why i had like i was learning myself about uh, the black history here you know so that's another thing you know that could be put on there so pretty much any content that you would do a search for on google it would be the same way but it would be in voice on this here device you know, like uh, Chrissy, uh, she told me yesterday that she wants to start doing YouTube videos 
on chocolate because she loves chocolate. She said, I want to talk about white chocolate, um, dark chocolate, you know, <laughs> just everything chocolate, you know. And so just think about how many women, you know, we love to eat chocolate. Just think about the, all of the people who love eating chocolate. And so for her to create like a Alexa flash briefing for you to listen to every day about chocolate, you know. <laughs> Yeah. So it can be basically on anything that you love to do. Right. And, and yeah. And then as far as like other people, is that some content that they would be interested in, you know, mm -hmm. especially like uh, even like black movies, you know, you could do a trivia on that, you know, um, like I said, it just, the sky is the limit. Any information that's already on Google, you would take that same written content, mm -hmm. you know, and put it on there, you know, as a voice so people can listen to it. And even like, uh, what, I guess I, what my car is a year old now. Um, and the cars are where, you know, you can listen to Alexa from your car. So if, you know, you had a podcast, you know, that um, each day, because I, I created a podcast that talked about the different things that can be done on the Alexa device, because one of my friends, she got, um, she actually got one from something, they gave it to her, and then she, um, they gave her the, the dot, and they gave her the plug, and she's like, I don't know what to do with this stuff. <laughs> And so I created a podcast. And so, you know, she can know like different things that could be done with this device. And it's like so many different things that could be done. And because our youth, our children, they are already in, you know, technology. They are already mm -hmm. in that space. And, um, you know, they definitely can, you know, earn some money from uh, actually coming up with something. There's some other, you know, other like young people that's making money off of like big money. You know, I, I have created what about 15 Alexa skills, but it takes time, you know, to, to do this and by me having a full-time job and then, um, you know, other things that's on my plate, you know, um, I haven't really pushed, you know, because I'm, I try to be careful not doing stuff, you know, while I'm on the clock for my daytime job. So I'm, I'm kind of limited, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, with really pushing the, the things that I have. But the reason why I actually decided, you know, to do a business outside of my job, you know, while I'm still working. So because I know I'm the type of person when I retire, yeah, I'll be retired, but I'm, I don't moved on to something else. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't see me just sitting back in a rocking chair like, oh, girl, I don't put my years in. I'm done, y'all. I'm just sitting here rocking in my chair all night. Mm -hmm. Call me when you feel like, when you get to bed, just call me. I'm sitting right here waiting on y'all to call me. No. <laughs> that is not me, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna, I love teaching kids, and um, I'm going to be teaching them some of this, that, and the other. If I know it, they're going to know it, you know. And so that's what I, um, you know, I just wanted to kind of break and kind of see what you guys thought. Um, and let me go back. I'll show you all the different. Now, whether you guys use me, whether you do it yourself, whether you choose to uh, have somebody else to work with you, this information I'm getting ready to share with you is what you will need, regardless to which route you take. Okay, so let's go back to the, yeah, right here, yeah. Okay, so, <clears throat> all right, so basically this is like the developer, the developer platform in uh, Amazon, okay? And so basically you have all your skills there, like I created a skill for our church um, and then right here is where you would build it. The code that is used is um, on here. This is where the testing can be done once you create it. And then this is uh, distrib distribution and certification. So basically, once you create an Alexa skill, it has to go through certification. Okay. I have had 
a couple of my Alexa skills that didn't pass certification. And um, I just kind of left them alone because I kept trying to figure out and I couldn't figure it out. So I just say, forget it. <laughs> and so, but you have to pass certification. Okay. And so um, basically the first thing you have to have is the flash briefing name, the name that you'll provide the users, okay, that they will use to invoke your flash briefing. So there are two different concepts. So if you have a flash briefing, it will show like home safety tips. That's what you all saw. That's the name of the flash briefing that I created for that. I also have one on finances for our insurance agency where I share different things about social security, retirement, and all that kind of stuff. But basically your name should be related to the content that the listener is going to hear about. So, you know, a, another really good one that I thought would be good is like, you know how like different seasons, there are different uh, foods, like they're in their season, like, um, what is it? Maybe apples. I'm not sure what fruit or vegetable is in season right now, but that would be a great one I thought about too, where you can create an Alexa skill and just say, okay, you know, um, cucumbers, which I think those are all year round, you know, yeah. but if you say, hey, here's some, you know, a really cool um, benefits of eating cucumbers. Here's things that um, you know, it, it helps with your skin. People yeah. use cucumbers to put on their eyes for bags or, you know, here's a really cool cucumber salad. I mean, you could take that thing and run with it, you know, and um, so that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. If it's sweet potato season, it's like, okay, we've just entered sweet potato seasons, you know, it's a great time to go ahead on and, you know, make those sweet potato pies and here's how you make a pie. You know, I tried Patty LaBelle pie, hers, what, and all that stuff. Let me, I'm gonna give you my recipe. You know, <laughs> this, this the recipe. That's the stuff right here. You know. So anyway, <laughs> I got a question, Terry. Uh -huh. What about? Um, I love Raina cherries. Uh huh. And they don't. They only come out between the middle of June and the beginning of July. And at the beginning of July, they're they're gone. So I know. that's a good one. I Should love those too. It's yeah. the ones like that with the red and the yellow. Yes. Yeah. No. You gotta get them. Yeah, you get them. And in in the way you know a fruit is in this season, when you walk in that section, you can smell it like a peach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Watermelon. Mm -hmm. Most of the fruit you can smell them. And I actually have a like a whole list that um this lady had created. And I need to find it, but it talks about all of the different fruits and stuff. And when they're in their season, I think that would definitely be, you know, make a great uh, skill, That's, especially I like people. I thought about that when you said that. I said, yeah. I love those. And it's a, those cherries is a good benefit for you. Right. Like for right. Diabetes, not for diabetes and stuff like that. And, and people may not even know that. I didn't even know that that was, you see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's what I'm talking about. Information that what people would, you know, benefit from. And it's mm -hmm. like now they start letting other people know, girl, listen to, you know, Quan's um flash briefing here. It's got some really co good content, you know, to help you with your skin, you know, yep. your hair, your and it, you know, your and wrinkles. it has good, um inflammation is also. Oh yeah, that's huge. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, inflammation. And so, yeah, so those are some of the things that, you know, you guys may want to start thinking about, like, how can I move forward with doing yeah. something, you know, and um, being able to be the go-to person to educate people on a certain topic, okay? Yeah. And then the second thing you have to have is, like, choose, like, your default language. Of course, we're English speaking, so, of course, that's what we would choose, but... Mm -hmm you can create an Alexa skill in all the different languages there are because wow. these devices are all over the world. Amazon is everywhere, okay? And they're selling these Echo devices everywhere. And then uh, as far as the English, now when you create a skill, you can actually have it in all the five English speaking countries. So not only would it be here, but it'd be in all those other places as well. Wow. The wow. third thing is you have to determine how often you're going to create your content. Okay, so this is what happened here. Let me tell you what happened, girl. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
I created my um, We Voice It uh, podcast, right? And I had put on there that I was going to have that content done every week. Okay? So here we go. You know, I got busy, right? We building the church, you know, got grandkids, you know, whatever, whatever going on, right? So I didn't do it every week. I think I was like monthly, right? <laughs> I submitted that. Them thing. They sent me back. It's like, mm, this thing is not uh, monthly. You know, like your frequency is, is not what it is. So it was like, if you say you're going to be creating content every day, do, you know, you best know that you need to have it every day. So when you submit it for certification, you know, and they go to, to listen and see, you need, you know, they'll need to be able to know that. Yeah, the information is there every day, you know, it's weekly or whatever. So I had to go back and change that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> so that's very important to know, okay? And then the here are the different genres, okay? Uh, there are news, um, business, politics, entertainment, technology, humor, uh, lifestyle, sports, science, health and fitness, arts and culture, productivity and utilities, and then others. Like the person who did the horoscope skill, like, dang, why didn't I think about that? Everybody go listen to the horoscope every day. You know, mm -hmm. back in the day, you know how you used to get the newspaper yep. looking for your yep. horoscope? Well, yep. somebody actually, you know, had created that as an Alexa skill. Mm -hmm. And um, here are the different categories, astrology, business and finance, children, education, children, music, and audio, cooking and recipes, dating, education, fashion and style, health and fitness, pets and animals, podcasts, religious and spirituality, self-improvement, social networking, sports games, sports news, wine and beverage. So those are the categories that you will have to choose from, okay? Mm -hmm. Then keywords. Now, just like on Google, you know, you, you search, you know, for different things on there, like anger management. Well, you have the same opportunity to create 30 keywords for your Alexa skill so that when people are searching for a skill, then hopefully yours will be one that they will find based on your keywords. So you'll be able to create up to 30 keywords for that, okay? And then, of course, you have to have uh, your image, okay? And it's, it's very, they're very particular that it has to have this 108 by 108 dimension. And then you have to have the feed image by uh, 5 by 12 by 5 by 12, okay? And then the next thing you have to have is your greeting information, whether you're going to have Alexa say, you know, from, you know, we voice it, or you can say, um, from the latest news or in the latest news or whatever, but basically you have to have, choose which format you will have your greeting in. And it's limited to 70 characters, okay? Mm -hmm. And then um, basically the 10th thing is you must let Amazon know if your flash briefing is directed towards children under the age of 13, okay? Um, because what they'll have to do if, if somebody try to uh, access that skill, they will have to have permission, okay? So you have to answer that question, all right? And then advertising. Now, flash briefing skills can include audio advertisements as long as the advertisements do not use Alexa's voice, okay? So basically what that means is, for instance, if you have an Alexa skill um, and you did an audio, um, you can actually have your voice, you know, with that content or you can just have alexa read your content what i have is alexa because i can quickly go and have alexa to do it sometime i'm able to use my voice it just depends okay but you can have either or but you cannot have alexa you know pointing somebody to your product or service okay so you need to get that uh, done all right and then when it comes to privacy you'll have to have a link to let um people know that the content that you're sharing is actually your content, okay? You have to have a link for that. And then the 13th thing you have to have is uh, HTTPS, if you're actually going to be sending people to your website. You're like, hey, you know, this week, you know, I have a, a, a trivia question 
and I'll be giving you clues. And then Friday, you know, you can go to my website to find out, you know, if you, you know, answered that, you know, question right. I'm just throwing something out there. But basically, if you're sending people to your website, it has to be HTTPS, you know. And um, 14th thing is you have to have a one sentence description of your uh, Alexa skill. And it could be 10 to 160 characters for uh, your short description. And then the description is actually going to appear on the Alexa app. So when people see it, they'll get an idea, you know, of what that actual skill is about. And then you can have a detailed description, which can be up to 4,000 uh, 4, characters describing that flash brief and the features and how it works, okay? And then it appears when a customer selects your skill for more information. So if there's an Alexa skill and somebody wanna know, it's like, okay, let me see if I really wanna do this. And then you can give some more in-depth information, okay? And then you have to have a error message, okay? So uh, that's another reason um, why Alexa will not certify your skill, they'll send it back to you, is if you do not have some kind of way for the listener to know you know, that something went wrong, okay? And you can have that up to 75 characters. So if you don't have some content out there, you need to say, you know, sorry, come back tomorrow. I'll have something new, whatever. But they don't want you just leaving the people hanging, okay? And then um, you, your content can either be text, like written text, or it can be audio, like an MP3, okay? And then that's pretty much it that um, as far as the um, <clears throat> different things that, like I said, those are the questions. So, you know, you can decide on an Alexa skill and see that's what, and because I'm, I'm a teacher and I like, um, I, I, I have to have stuff in writing, the power of a pen and paper. That's what I've always, me and my husband, we always teach that the power of a pen and paper. I have to have stuff in writing. So, you know, when I first went out there to try to develop me an Alexa skill, and then I'm, you know, like, okay, I got an idea, but then it's like, oh gosh, you got to answer all these questions. I don't have the answers. I don't have these keywords. I don't have, you know, so it's like, that's why I created the checklist, you know, mm -hmm. to, um, you know, uh, created a workbook. Cause when I actually did the different uh, workshops that I did uh, with the two groups, I did a, last year I did a STEM group of kids and, um, had them to they created a mental health skill and um so we were able to use that workbook for them to write down their information and on here wevoiceit.com appointment that's where you can um uh, actually connect with me to talk about what you want to do and so if you want to do a flash briefing you know you can set up a day of time to discuss you know your content and what you want to have as your content and this is a link that has some of my Alexa skills on there. This is a link to my podcast and I created a Facebook group, okay? So that we can connect on there. <clears throat> and then, um, like I said, you can schedule an appointment and we can, uh, I actually have an online course that I created. Like I said, um, if it's something that you to know how to do, I have learned it and I have implemented, okay? So uh, that's a whole another thing as far as creating courses that uh, can be offered as a service to businesses as well, okay? And as far as, I'm gonna show you now. Now, I don't want y'all just getting off my uh, webinar because like, oh my God, look at these prices. But this is, I just pulled one of the companies and just to show you that there is money to be made by offering this as a service, okay? So here's one of the companies. Um, they actually have an app where, you know, the people can record their flash briefing content on it and submit it to this company. But basically their setup fee is $1,000 for a basic plan. The monthly fee is 500. The features, um, basically, they're offering them to be able to do 30 audios a month, uh, 30,000 in total invocations a month, and uh, none of this other stuff, okay? They can't upload that, um, no RSS feed, no podcast feed. I mean, this is like simple, okay? So my prices are nowhere near um, that. 
and um, I want. I don't want to say that my price isn't there because, um, and see, that's the thing about pricing stuff. I'm going to tell you a little short. I'm not going to take too much of your time, but I, when I, when I low price my stuff, those are the worst people um, I've had to deal with. And um, it's just not a pretty day. When you um, put your stuff low, you actually spend more time babysitting people. Mm -hmm. Um, babysitting people that you charge i i'm serious i for some reason when people see free and low they just i don't i don't know what what kind of what enters into their head you know what i'm saying <laughs> to make them feel like you know yeah and um so it really bothers me you know it's like i want to help people but then it's like you taking advantage of me at, at, to me at a at a certain way i view that you know because it's like it's like if you say hey you know what i'm only budgeted to because that's why i ask people like what's your budget you know i try to work within their budget and then they come up with this small number i'm like okay mm -hmm. all right okay and um but then oh my god monsters <laughs> like mm -mm. you know what I, you know and i don't have to do this you see what i'm saying it's like you know i have a regular job and i'm just trying to help you because you know i do have an income but baby mm -mm. so yeah we're not doing the low ball stuff all right so anyway <laughs> i'm telling you yeah, it's like that. You know, I need you to value what I'm bringing to you. And so the only way people, because when people buy those coach purses, they feel like they got something. You know what I'm saying? Four hundred dollar purse. Hey, you see what I'm saying? But you get them a, a purse from Marshalls or Ross and give it to them. That thing thrown in the corner. <laughs> okay, that's true. That's true. But anyway, if you guys want to connect with me, um to say hey this is what idea that i have or i want to be able to offer this service you know to a business or whatever then we can you know talk and um go from there and uh anybody have any questions i know everybody kind of um you know had got things going through your mind mm -hmm. you know you got things going through your mind you're trying to be like whoa <laughs> yeah <laughs> So this can be used go to, to sleep advertise. Tonight. This can uh -huh. be used to advertise your business if you have a business, correct? Because like I'm, correct. On, I'm, I'm in the process of trying to start a business, so this this is something that I could use to maybe advertise that. Right. Yeah, and so yeah, so it's like like I said, it's 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 the the like. When websites, you know, back in the day, if you didn't have a business card, it's like, oh, you know, you don't have a business. You know what I'm saying? And then, right. then we had to have websites. Then you had to have um, an app, a mobile app. Oh, then yeah. you had to have uh, QR codes. <laughs> then you had to have um, email marketing. You don't have an email campaign where you connect the name and email address and all this kind of. Then you had to have YouTube. Then you had to get on social media. You got to be on Facebook, got to be on Instagram, got to be on Twitter. It's like, I cannot be all those places. I just right. hang out on Facebook. <laughs> That's where I hang out. Yeah. You know, and some people, they feel like Facebook isn't their spot. Some people, they doing great on Instagram. I just mm -hmm. can't do Instagram. Um, I'm, I would like to, but no. And YouTube, I love YouTube. You know, and that's why I do YouTube and I do Facebook. And um, Google My Business is where, you know, I have that created so that my business, now that's something you uh, definitely want to do, Gwen, is get your business on um, Google My Business. Because you know how when you do go and type in a search or whatever, you see the business location there mm -hmm. and you see their products and service and when they open, close and all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's definitely um, something that you need. And then there are two things that I actually share with people that are business owners that you can use for free okay um there's a, a free website builder that i share where they actually have templates where you can you know build your website and then there's uh email marketing on uh, aweber which they offer aweber is normally like 20 dollars a month to use their email marketing campaign but because of the coronavirus 
they basically is went to where you can have a free email account set up with them and okay. you could uh yeah you can have a free uh, account set up with them and um to, you can have up to 500 subscribers and so that's another thing yeah with aweber aweber okay. is like the top three of email autoresponders that are used by high ticket you know uh five and six seven eight figure internet marketers and they've been yeah aweber is like okay. if you go type aweber it's like yeah they, they um definitely okay. and so but yeah anybody have any questions um uh, anybody uh, so you said we can go to to the website if we need to set up an appointment with you actually um revoiceit.com or something yeah slash appointment yeah that's appointment okay yeah so, yeah so it just depends on what you are trying to uh, accomplish you know um uh, with your i actually have a platform with no coding okay you don't have to code okay um which would be great you know you just have to have your content either in audio um format or you need to have it in um text either one and if it's in text then of course you know you can have alexa to actually read the content for you or you know in audio you can so have your voice flash briefing is do will we get paid as well like um uh, when you do when you create one who's getting like are you getting paid to do this no when you say so now if somebody if somebody hired you to do one for them then yeah you would get paid by them but just creating a flash briefing yourself the way you would get paid is if you have some product or service that you're offering to people uh -huh. and then they buying your product or service okay it's just like if you had a website and you had your product or service on there you know like you you don't get paid to create your website but when people come to your website that's mm -hmm. when you get paid if they buy okay. from you okay yeah so it's the same concept it's just a different platform okay yeah and it's just voice uh technology okay oh, I said, uh, the wheels are turning vicky says yeah <laughs> Yeah, she says she got her wheels turning, which is good. Okay. Thank you um, for showing up. Okay, Shatavia and them, they left messages. They had to go. But that's fine. But yeah, so I definitely, like I said, wanted to share, um, you know, this concept. And, um, you know, if you guys decide that it's something that you want to, you know, move forward with. And, um, then yeah, definitely. Did you say but how like, much you charge? Did you say how much you charge? But in a for and no for um, in Alexa, if you're just doing like just regular uh, content, uh, one ninety seven to get it all set up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you're just doing straight content, but there now that's that's just the flash briefing. There's so many different concepts, and so what I do not only would um, you know get help you to get your because you have to have a have a developer account then you got to have all of that stuff and so i actually have um like i said the checklist so you can do that help you with your keywords you know making sure you get your your keywords and then i will create your artwork that you need because you have to have those uh, different things i showed you the 512 and the 108 and then i'll create a facebook post um, you know, so that you guys could, um, you know, upload that saying, you know, letting people know that you have an Alexa skill and then just kind of, um, you know, go from there as far as okay. what you're trying to, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, it would be 197 up front to get all of the stuff, you know, set up and, um, help you to get all of this pieces to, you know, together and then but you know once you know your content and like i have the workbook that also will come along with the 197 to where it has you know each day you can write out you know ahead of time you know mm -hmm. what it is your content you want to share 
and that way you already have it so whether you and then that information will just be uploaded to the platform in uh, written content or if you decide that you want your voice to be the content then you will create that as an mp3 and then i can show you how to do that oh okay okay uh carolyn griffin okay she said she had to go to no problem yeah yeah so Okay. Yeah, so if any of you guys want to, um, like I said, move forward, just let me know and I'll, um, you know, we can talk about the, um, how to do that. Definitely. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I appreciate y'all. A, a lot of the information was over my head, but I, I know where to come to, to, to get explanations. Yeah. Super really interesting, because I didn't know anything about this, so this was interesting. Right. And like you said, the, the more it's like, like when you watch TV now, you'll be saying, oh, they got Alexa. You yeah. Know what I'm, saying? Like, I'm already thinking about stuff I've already seen. You know what right. I mean? I said, oh, right. now, I'm, now I have a name for it. So, yeah. yeah and then for, for somebody to know how to do, yeah. you know, like to do this, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like people like, how, how your information is on that, that, you know, and, right. and then, I mean, mm -hmm. Around the world to have that device and that's how you can make money because if you you know have some content that people are looking to hear every day like the joke of the day that guy's getting paid crazy money the word of the day the question of the day i mean it is so oh my god there's so wow. many um and it's simple it doesn't have to be you know some big drawn out thing it's just what people want to engage with right you see what i'm saying it's just mm -hmm. you know like especially to say um because now you know you kind of you know, i was thinking like with kids you know you have to you know I, I really try to stay away from doing stuff to where you know kids have to you know um, be questioned about whether they can access it or whatever so you know I try to but you know that's that's pretty much where i like to live in the kid world but you know <laughs> i try to stay away from, yeah when it comes to you know that kind of thing unless you know, I'm doing a presentation, you know, or doing a workshop with them. Cause that's another thing. Like I said, I've been paid to do like last year when I did the, um, the STEM students, you know, they had already had, um, you know, my price is for $500, you know, if I go do a group and, um, they paid me, you know, the $500 to come and teach the kids how to do this. Wow. And so that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, a, it's something that you can get paid to offer as a service as well you know not just that because once people know you know how to do this it's like hold up hold up yeah let me have you because um you know because i like I said i had three engagements that had to be canceled because of the coronavirus um this year mm -hmm. but i enjoyed the um the social distancing because i'm like you know what i need to you know yeah sit back and relax let me sit in that wheelchair <laughs> <laughs> temporarily there, girl. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, okay. I'm gonna run, but thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all all night. Oh, Anybody God. have in, any questions? Any questions? Any questions? If not, I'll, I'll hang out with y'all again, and y'all can reach out to me. All right, thank you, dear. Thank God bless. You. God bless. Bye. Bye.